Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Tiger Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 12 iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. As we all know, iPhones are packed with features and tricks that a lot of people don't know about. And just using your iPhone on everyday basis, a lot of times you will discover new features and new tricks that you didn't know before. So in this video, I will show you guys 12 of those that I hope you will find useful and use them on daily basis on your iPhone. Now, first of all, we're talking about the alarm on the clock app on the iPhone. So head on to the clock app and when you go to your alarms, you will have, of course, an alarm here. You can edit it and you will have the sound here. Did you know that you can go to right here to sound? and then you can actually add your own music as well. So right here we'll have songs. You can go ahead and tap on pick a song and it will take you to the Apple Music app where you can just pick any song you want and then of course you can use that as your alarm so every time you wake up you won't be waking up just like a random sound a random tone here that apple has put here under ringtones but you will have your favorite song now when talking about alarms here's another really cool feature a hidden trick that a lot of people probably don't know about so when you go to edit your alarm you can see right here that you can pick of course the time repeat or not and then the sound but you cannot actually pick the volume volume of your alarm well you actually can but it's not here under the alarm section on the clock app to change the sound of your alarm whether you think your alarm is just too loud or maybe it's too quiet then you can go ahead and go to your settings and then go under sounds and haptics now it doesn't have a dedicated like slider or button to turn up or down the alarm volume but it's the ringtone and alerts volume right here now this also represents the volume of your alarms so anytime you want to change the volume of your alarm, you can actually do it from here. So the amount of sound that you pick there will be the amount of sound that your alarm will have. Here's another one for the widgets on the home screen. So whenever you go to add a widget on your home screen, you will see a list of apps right here, of course, that offer home screen widgets for your iPhone. But a lot of times you might have an app, but you don't see it on this list well apple for some reason will just put some of the apps on the other section right here and when you tap here it says that these widgets are not optimized for the iphone home screen even though most of them will actually be so if i have this app power to you which is pretty cool and i don't find it in here then i can find it under the other section and you can see it has some really beautiful widgets for the home screen that look really awesome and they actually work really well like this one right here but still apple doesn't show it on the main page of the widgets but you will find it under the other section now here's something really cool that you can do on your iphone to make sure that you have basically double protection for your passcode so you have a passcode on your iphone but what if someone knows that passcode and they want to change that that will be pretty easy. But what you can do is add another passcode to actually protect your passcode. The way to do that, head on under settings, go to screen time, and then here to content and privacy restrictions, make sure you have this enabled, and then you will find here something called here passcode changes. You tap right there and you tap on don't allow. This won't actually allow the passcode to be changed. So it's really cool. And of course you will need to have the passcode that you use for your screen time in order to just change the passcode of your device you know that when your iphone is locked there are actually a lot of things that can be accessible even though your iphone is locked with a passcode or face id or touch id and one of them is the control center one can do a lot from the control center like play music maybe turn off your wi-fi or cellular data maybe use the camera of your iphone and things like that well you can stop that pretty easily all you have to do is go under face id and passcode on the settings app and then right here allow access when locked you will have here the control center so what you can do here is disable the control center and i would suggest you do the notification center as well so no one will be able to take a look at your notifications while your iphone is locked and that way you have now totally locked the lock the lock screen control center and notification center when your iphone is locked 
Now one really cool thing that you can do with your iPhone on the Photos app is find photos based on the device that they have been taken with. So let's say I have my old photos from my old iPhone 14 Pro Max which I just moved here to the 15 Pro Max when I bought it. So now when I just want to find the photos that I took with my old device, all I have to do is go to the search bar on the Photos app and just search for 14 Pro Max. That way I will have all my photos there and it will only show me the photos from the 14 Pro Max. And I will have all the other devices as well so I can just select to see photos taken from that device. Here's a pretty old trick but it's still working even on iOS 17.3.1 and 17.4 beta. While you're playing music on your iPhone, you can still record a video and have the music playing in the background of the video. The way to do that, play the music and then head on to the camera app. Don't move to the video section. Stay here on the photo section and then just tap and hold here once it starts recording. You can move it like that on the right side just to actually lock it. And now you're playing music in the background and at the same time shooting a video which will have the music playing in the background when you replay it. Talking about videos, just like you know on iOS 17, you can actually zoom in on a picture to actually crop it. Well, you can do the basically same thing with videos as well. So if I have a video here, I can just zoom in and I can tap on crop and that way I will be able to just crop that video as easy as that without having to go to the edit section right here, tap done and just like that you have now cropped your video. So you know on iOS when you're trying to share something you will see a lot of your contacts right there on the share page and a lot of times you might just tap one of your contacts by accident because they're just right there at the top of the list. Well you can actually remove those and it's pretty simple. Head on to your settings then go under Siri and search and we will find here something called show when sharing right here. So suggestions from Apple show when sharing you disable this and your contacts will be removed from the share sheet. Now here's a pretty cool old trick but it still works on iOS 17 and I think it's very useful for a lot of people. Now it is suggested that you don't actually close the apps from the app switcher that way your iPhone will work faster and will need less time to load the apps. But a lot of times a lot of people will want to close their apps from the background. Apple still doesn't have like a feature or a button that allows you to do that with one click. But what you can do here on the app switcher is actually use three fingers to close three apps at once just like that. So swipe and you can see as easy as that three apps will be closed in one time. Now one of the coolest features that Apple has added to the iPhone in the last few years is of course the back tap feature where you can double tap or triple tap to perform different actions. Well you can also use that to launch your favorite apps. The way to do that, head on to the shortcuts app and from here all you have to do is tap the plus button and then tap on open app. Pick here any app you want to open and once you have done that you can just go ahead and rename this shortcut to the name of that app and once you have done that you tap done here and then you go back to the settings under accessibility touch and then here back tap you can choose double tap or triple tap and when you go all the way down here you will have a section for your shortcut. You just pick the shortcut you just created and then you double tap on the back to open that app anytime you want. You can actually also do the same from the lock screen of your device and with the improvements that Apple has done to the shortcut widgets on the lock screen with iOS 17 this will be even better. Now they actually work and they do show the icons here as well. So now I can open any app I want from the lock screen using the shortcuts app. So I just tap here and it opens the app as easy as that. The way to work with that of course just create the shortcut on the shortcuts app and then add the shortcuts here right on the lock screen. Of course you need to do this by adding the widgets from the shortcuts app. Once you have added those of course they will be all the same but you can just tap on it like this. And then it will show you the basically here a list where you can choose the shortcut you want to add. Pick your app right there. You can change the app for all four of the widgets. And you can launch four apps directly from the lock screen. So that is it for this video guys. These are 12 iPhone hidden tricks and features that I suggest you take a look at. And probably use a lot of them on daily basis on your iPhone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Of course subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next one.